Good morning, Ronnie. Well, this lion-like uh, March day, mm -hmm. yesterday certainly was. Boy, in the late afternoon, it was like a blizzard, wasn't it? That's about as hard as I've seen it snow in a long time. And the wind, you know, so you had this snow going yeah. right beside you. Visibility was just zilch. It was poor. Yeah. So much better this morning. Less wind. That's a good thing. Yes, it is. So snow anyway. covered roads, but uh, I think everything's going to go. Well, it's kind of our, our that's feeling. our feeling yeah. anyway. So, but pretty much a universal two hour late start, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. I think all the schools, schools that contact yeah. us are saying two hours late. Yep, yeah, indeed. Well, good luck getting there today. Well, so what about the Ronnie school? Is it on time? It's today? on time today. Oh, right rats. here. Seven big questions. Seven big questions. Seven big questions. Yes, indeed. Got to get my official are. worksheet. Yep, yep. That's stationary for the Ron Fruit School for Wayward Boys. That's right. Yeah. That's all nice. you can afford. That's all so, I can afford. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. That's Flip right. Flip side of an old uh, Prime Mover scorecard here. So. <laughs> That's about right, too. So what's the subject today? Well, today's subject is wind. Wind! Yes. It's the winds of March. Boy, it was windy yesterday, I want to tell you. Wow. So yes, it was. seven Ooh. questions on wind today. Yes. In fact, I walked outside yesterday leaving here, and I thought, you know, it's really not that bad out temperature-wise. And as soon as I got past the corner of the building, it was like, whap! Like somebody <laughs> slapped me in the face. <laughs> what? I know. What was that? Not pleasant at no. all. No. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, yes, seven questions on the wind. Let's the see wind. how you do. Okay. So science class has now begun. Hmm. hmm. An instrument to measure wind speed is called a wind meter, barometer, anemometer, or an amp meter. Which one of those is the correct answer? An instrument to measure the wind speed. Okay. Ready? Yep. Number two, a gale is officially defined as a wind between 32 and 63 miles per hour. Okay. A wind from 4 to 31 miles per hour is what? Is it a breeze, a gust, a zephyr, or a swale? Hmm. <laughs> Nodding his head there. Well, you know, you give me this. I'm, I'm thinking I know, and then you give me the four, and wait a minute, that's not one of the choices. Okay. Oh, really? No. no. Huh. Hmm. What were you going to choose there? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Question number three. Yes. The strongest winds in the solar system are on Saturn, where they reach speeds of over 400 miles an hour. Wow. 650 miles an hour. Over 900 miles an hour or over 1,100 miles per hour? Wow. Yep. You and if our radio station had a satellite, you know, on Saturn, right, and you'd have walked around the building, you'd have really thought you had. You'd have got slapped yeah. in the face. Wow, mm, boy, you wouldn't have wanted to hang out your bloomers on the clothesline. <laughs> <and> just... <laughs> wow. Yeah. So mm. it's windy, regardless. How windy is the question? Okay. Number four: the first house in the world to have its electricity supplied by wind power was in what country? Was it England, Spain, Holland, or Scotland? Hmm. Which one of those is the best answer? All right. Number five. Early wind turbines all turned counterclockwise or clockwise when viewed from the front. All righty. All right. Now, do you remember those old windmills that were on farms all over the area? Oh, sure. Same thing. Early windmills. Did they turn counterclockwise or clockwise? <laughs> Boy, that was almost a John Hancock signature. Yeah, that's how I signed the Declaration of Independence. I noticed that. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Got dec uh, you got uh, detention that day, too, didn't I did. you? Yeah? I did. Deservedly so. Mm-hmm defacing school property. Yeah, well, you know. That's sad. If only I would have had a quill pen, I could have taken one of Speckled Pete's feathers and dipped it in ink and... <laughs> been realistic. Well, yeah, it would have been more realistic. But... <laughs> Number seven, true or false? The phrase, in the doldrums, relates to the wind. Is that true or is that false? Hmm. The phrase, in the doldrums, relates to the wind. Okay. All right. Huh. 
And how do you think you did? I, well, you know, I, I'm guessing maybe three right. Really? You're there not were, too windy then, are you? No, no. Although I've been accused of that. Yeah. But there were no questions about songs about wind. I know. You know, like... Like the association. Yeah. Windy. Windy. That would have been nice. Which, by the way, was written about a guy. Oh, really? But... Uh, Johnny Cash, any old wind that blows. Only, yep. Yeah. The Zach Brown Blowing band. in the wind. Blowing in the wind, Peter, yeah, Paul, and Mary. Yep, yeah. yeah, exactly. I guess we could have done that. Could have done that. I just didn't think but of it. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> So let's see how you do All right. All right. Number one, an instrument to measure wind speed is called a wind meter, barometer, anemometer, or an amp meter. Anemometer. That's correct. Woohoo! <laughs> You're off and running. I ain't getting skunked today, a Ronnie. <laughs> a gale is officially determined as a wind between 32 and 63 miles an hour. A wind from 4 miles an hour to 31 miles an hour is what? A breeze. Correct. Whoa, yes, Ronnie, two for breeze. two. breeze, yes, that's right. <laughs> oh, my, impressive. <laughs> Question number three. The strongest winds in the solar system are on Saturn, where they reach speeds of? The third one, you said. Actually, 1,100 miles oh, per hour. Wow. Can you imagine? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just, I, that defies imagination, doesn't it? It'd be hard to keep your roof on. I would think it would. <laughs> I would think it would. Well said. Take a strong shingle guarantee, wouldn't it? It, it would. Yeah. yeah. The three little pigs that have trouble. <laughs> I, 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 I'm telling you. Try to build a house so of straw. So would the wolf if he was standing with his face in the wind. He would. <laughs> <You're a joke. laughs> well, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll oh. blow away. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Ew, boy. Number four. The first house in the world to have its electricity supplied by wind power was in what country? That was in Holland. Oh, that's a good guess. It was Scotland. Oh. Yes. Well, that was my second <laughs> answer. <laughs> Lots of windmills in Holland. That's right. But it was Scotland. And it was uh, 1887. Wow. Yeah. Some time ago. Mm. So wind power, well, nothing new. Started with promise and now back oh, well, to reality. Let, let's, let's see where we go with questions five and six. Early wind turbines all turned counterclockwise or clockwise? Counterclockwise. Correct. Very good, you science major. Woo! Yes. However, since 1978, they now turn clockwise. Oh. Yes. And, you know, it doesn't look like they're going that fast, but, of course, that windmill is pretty wide. Those tips can be going up to 200 miles an hour. Oh. Yeah. That's yeah. That's moving right along. Yep. No, Nothing I, like being on Saturn, but no, still. No. <laughs> Boy, that'd take quite a windmill on Saturn. Oh, my, turn, wouldn't it, though? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you could keep it nailed down, boy, she'd really go. <laughs> take some high-quality bearings. Yeah. Um, early windmills, did they turn clockwise or counterclockwise? They went counter as well. Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. Oh, how did you know Well, that? I actually remember that from back in the day. You know, really? Observing, you know, some windmills and that really? kind of thing. And the other thing that I always stuck in my mind is when you watched a western the spokes of the wagon wheel would always go like yeah when you'd watch it on tv you know the spokes of the wagon wheel didn't go normal it always looked like they were going, going backwards. backwards oh you know? my yep so there you were a young boy out lying in the grass underneath the shade tree looking up at the family windmill well we didn't have a windmill oh really no no the neighbors did i think <laughs> did some, yeah do they have a girl and you were looking in that well. <laughs> <laughs> down to the line fence you yeah. know yeah mm -hmm. nice <laughs> <laughs> back in the day yeah mm -hmm. true or false the phrase in the doldrum relates back to the wind. Well, that's true. It is. Would you like to explain it or would you prefer I told you about it? Well, basically and uh, uh, <laughs> ethnically, the... Uh... <laughs> Is this like an essay? The test? wind on Saturn. <laughs> the, yeah. the wind on Saturn, yes. <laughs> well, uh, the doldrums is a wind free area around the equator where sailing ships used to get stuck for weeks, hence the phrase, in the doldrums. Stuck in the doldrums. Yeah. Oh. So there you were. Well, there you yeah. go. The windless area around the equator. I uh, maybe have heard that before, but I, I couldn't have, you know, spewed that no. out. <laughs> <laughs> Such a great word to use. Thank you. Spewed. <laughs> well, how did you do? Well, Not too bad. No, too wrong. Um, you know, that would be five right. You got five right. That's pretty good. That's as close to the fridge as I've been in a while. I was going to so. say, yeah, that's right. We, we might even... It's been quite a diet, hasn't it? Yes, it has. <laughs> we might have to just break our 
tradition and maybe put it on there with two wrong. I don't you know. think so. Because the other one's getting kind of worn yeah, it is. and frayed. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yep. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Five right on the wind. Fair job. Philip. Philip. Well, nice. Mm -hmm. Especially when you put your own note on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know, that's a step in the right direction. Well, so that's right. I guess, you know, I, I do know a little bit about wind. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Well, do you think this is the last day for school announcements? I predict we'll have one more. I wouldn't be surprised. Yes. I think um, our, our old expert, uh, John, you know, who predicts the snowfall, I think the yeah. other night he told me four left for so this now we're down to three this counts for two <laughs> well <that's, laughs> yeah, this was substantial compared to some of those yeah. that we had where they were just you know barely cat trackers yeah this one would this would you could ca uh, track a cat in it right unless it was in the wind yesterday yes that's right <laughs> been tough. The cat would but i away. mentioned to you have you noticed how many times we've had cancellations on monday night or school going into monday it seems like monday's been the tough day most yeah. of the time strange that way yeah so one more time. One more so. time, maybe, but uh, we'll we'll see. All right. You know, just about the time where, you know, they're going to get the diamonds all ready. And the, oh, yes, of the, course. The track yeah. is all set up and, you know, where the uh, maybe the the uh, some of the weight areas are. They're getting everything dried out, you know, and then phew, snow. Won't yeah. So that's what usually happens. Be about it. But yep. then the grass will turn green. Yeah, that's right. It'll yeah. really green. Yeah. Yep. So. You used to always help the oats back in the day. Yeah, you know, if that's you had the true. Oats yeah. in the ground, got a little snow on top. Seemed like it didn't be it? darker green anyway. Yeah. Anyway, well, well, nice job on your quiz you. there. Well, Five thank of you. seven. Yeah. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>